guys, as you guys know, um, let's go wait for a few more people to get in. We're going to go ahead and log on to our YouTube as well. Um, just a little bit, you can see this circle. You get to the side. Okay, on the menu, guys. This, this is this is a little bit for me. Uh, let me get my cutting board. What do you think? I mean, I can still see this, but do you want to get that little flat thing that you usually put this on? Mm -mm. You sure y'all are y'all okay with seeing both of these little rings? I just moved it back, so boom, there we go. Hey, from Yonkers, hey everybody. Like I said, this is a whole new situation going on for us today. This is something we've never tried ever. Um, I've seen so much of it happening. I read some of the re ranks. Um, we're making what they call cabbage steaks, but I'm gonna call them roasted cabbage. Okay? Can you give me the gloves on the pantry and a new thing of uh, paper towels, please? So I've unraveled several layers of cabbage. So this is this is my trash thing right here, and this is my cabbage thing right here. Because y'all know me, and I'm not gonna waste the food by throwing it away just because we're not using it right now. That's preposterous, ridiculous, and it's a, a waste of food. So last night we went to tea with Ryan Cameron. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, today is very twofold um, with this recipe. I have a surprise for you guys while we're waiting for these um, cabbage steak to get done. So uh, I'm gonna get started because it takes a while in the oven. I um. Let me put it on 400. And if we heat my oven to 400, 400 guys. A lot of people, some people say 350, some people say 400. So I'm gonna split the difference and put it on 390. How about that? I do have some other things in the oven for Von for later that he doesn't know about it. And I'm gonna take these out right now. If I need to reheat, I will. Stop right there. Thank you, folks. Got some baking cooking. All right. I feel like I can really finally get started. You guys ever have one of those days where it's just like, you know what, Lord, I'm having one of those days today. So bear with me. All right. It's a hot flash day, too. So that's what it is. Disagree with. So that being said, I'm gonna get a very, very, very small cocktail today because we don't want to do hot fashion, do we? No, we do not. All right. So I have my cabbage that I've cleaned off, and I, I take I took it down to what I call the white meat. As you can see, the water's still on here. Um, so I get to this part here, okay? Now, since this is gonna take a while, this is, like I told you guys earlier, this is a, a ooh, 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 ooh. Thanks, babe. Done in several parts. We're having technical difficulty, so please forgive us. Uh-oh. The, uh, my phone doesn't want to stay up. We might need to tape it or something. Uh oh. Sorry, y'all. There we go. It's good enough. Good enough. Boom. We just have to show you guys as time goes by. Excuse me, dear. Bacon is in here. I have about five strips of bacon. We take this cabbage. And we're only going to cut off the bottom. Now, this is trash. Okay? It's not a little trash bin. And I'm going to take this to its level. Now, this level. And then I'm going to start slicing these. Well, first, I have to uh, cut off both ends of it so that all of them lay flat. Now, we're not throwing this away. This is good cabbage still. Maybe this outer layer right here is not good, but we're not, we're not throwing away cabbage. Not doing that. 
Because even if you're home by yourself, you can still make yourself a little something something. I'm not throwing away food. I'm not doing that. In fact, me chop this part out too. And throw that part away. Aaron. Alright. So this is my medium sized head. We cut off both corners and the bottom. So it will stay level. Okay? Uh, we're waiting for our bacon to get done. But until then, I'm cutting maybe about one inch slices. See that? One inch slices. So from this cabbage, I could probably get a good four to six of them. Two. And if they if they unravel, just put it in your, your cabbage bin that you're gonna keep. Three. Let's try to keep them together. Four. So I was right, about six. Five. And we're gonna have a smaller one for six. We're gonna put that away because we're gonna eat that. And we're gonna keep this because we're gonna eat that. We're not throwing away food. And so what I do have is I have a pre-oiled pan. And this might seem a little weird to some people, but what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna add a little salt.
In this bowl, I have butter, a whole stick of butter, and I put whatever seasons, seasonings I like in it. I put a very, very small amount of Lowry's in it. I put um, some garlic salt. I put in um, some Sasson, the um, complete. I put in a Monterey steak seasoning. Um, and I like to put, I'm gonna tell you guys why I like to put it in the butter first. Not just because it'll spread evenly, not only, not only because, but also because sometimes when you put that, um, especially the steak seasoning and stuff, you ever notice sometimes uh, it doesn't get all the way soft along with your food? I have noticed that. And so, because of that, what I'm gonna do after I, oh, they, they need to be turned around here. So I'm gonna get my little food paster is what I call it. I'm gonna paste it on there. You wanna make sure you get some of the stuff on the bottom. Just to season. Just to season it. That's what we're doing now, just seasoning it. Like I said, I'm not doing both sides. Especially because with cabbage. It kind of drains all the way down to the bottom. Y'all know how cabbage looks. I'm gonna paint that on there. Seasoning sink. Paint, paint, paint. Paint, paint, paint. All right, so we have these painted on rather nicely and rather aggressively with seasoning. Uh oh, I forgot one. Uh oh, uh oh. I thought I had you. I didn't have him. He's not going to be seasoned as well, but he gets the picture. I almost forgot about him. He's good, though. Got a nice little season on him. All right. I'll paint these nicely. There we go. That seasoning is painted on rather nicely, rather aggressively. It's cabbage, so we all know that it kind of gets down to the bottom, to the nitty, to the one, two, three. So let me show you guys how this looks right now. Nice and seasoned. Just yeah, you said yeah, you have that same bowl I got from the Delatry. Just bring the olive oil in. I'm about to. Now we're gonna take a generous amount of olive oil, spread the top. And, and I'm not gonna add any water. Some people, and that I've seen, added water. But we all know that cabbage only retains a lot of water. And so this olive oil is going to drain down to the bottom. It's going to give it a nice little crisp on it. I'm putting this into a 390 degree oven. What's the difference between the 350 and the 400 degrees that people were saying to do? Some people said leave it in there for 90 minutes. I mean, for, uh, for 25 minutes, I'm going to leave it in for 35. Like, again, just a split difference. And I'm going to make sure that I um, make sure I check on it every now and again. So this bacon is almost done because that's what's gonna happen. Because we're from the side, we're gonna take some of that bacon grease, we're gonna pour it in over the top before it's finished. So let's go ahead and get this bacon already ready already. It's, 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 it's fine, I still want the grease to burn and have overcooked bacon on there. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna get some, oh, baby, yeah, there's some bacon. We're gonna get a plate. Pick the top. So we're gonna put our little bacon on there when it's finished. Uh-oh. Mom, you're supposed to talk to the people. Yo, I woke him up, so. Where's the waha? Okay, I'll make a little something. What's my outfit? Okay, Bonnie, this is, this is called the outfit that my husband hates the most. No, no, no. <laughs> what? What, are you, what, are you, what is it? <laughs> I'm not hanging out of it. I have a uh, thing thing on. Typically, you do. But it's at home. Yeah. Alright, so I am going to take off these gloves. And get myself a nice little cocktail, real quick. Just a real quick one. Not gonna do too much. Just 
Just my little regular. My husband has been very tired. I, I've barely seen him all day. But I have a surprise for him. I do. And it's in the kitchen. Thank you very much. And I'm going to show you guys something as well. All right, so while we wait, because we have a good 35 minutes to wait, right? It's just black and cream. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? juice. I'd rather have juice cocktail, but you know. <laughs> Where's my chug of water? Oh, I put it in the freezer. All right, so I had a jug of water, one gallon. One gallon, drinking water, okay? So earlier today, This is a car, it's called a carboy, okay? So Vaughn and I, we are making our first gallon of wine together. So this is me, well, me, me, okay? So I've already, um, there, there are fresh peaches in here. There are, there's a pound, there's about maybe four pounds of peaches and another pound of blueberries. This, and this is all fresh. I'm not avoiding the music question. I'm just not doing that right now. So, again, so I'm gonna let Vaughn just shake this up really good because on top of this, I also have yeast nutrient in here, okay? So what the yeast nutrient is gonna do is gonna make sure that, and so you can see this is yeast, yeast nutrient, if you guys can see. And what's that, what that's going to do is going to attach to our yeast. It's going to make it really work. It's going to make it feel really good. So it's going to, it's going to make it want to ferment. It's going to make it feel really good. It's going to make it want to ferment the way it's supposed to. Let me take this thing and I, and y'all, for the life of me, I don't know why, but I like for my baby to stay in strips. I can't do it when it's all um, crumbled up and stuff. <laughs> Not my thing. So, here is my bacon. And guess what, you guys? Guess what I'm going to do this? When my um, when my cabbage is done, I'm going to crumble this up and I'm going to put it on the top of it. <gasps> oh, that's going to be... Yes, you can stop. Yeah, someone said, Vaughn got to shake better than that. You're not, you're not shaking it up at all. I know. I know, y'all. Just... That, that's, that's my fault because I woke him up. It's my fault because I woke him up. So. They say, Bond, shake it down. Shake it, baby. Shake it. Shake it. Mm, 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 mm. Where is that little mm. dance? Oh, oh. I don't know where the dance came from. This is my dance. Oh, and then, of course, um, I mark it. If you guys can see the black stuff on there, I mark what I put on there. I mark the date. And. A lot of times people use a, um, I can't think of the name, the adrenaline. So you can test the alcohol content before you even begin. Um, and it'll let you know um, what the alcohol content, what the ABV will look like when, by the time that you're finished. But I figured I'm going to do it old school style like our grandparents used to do it. And we're just going to figure it out. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we have that. And I have my, and this water. Even though it says it is drinking water, I boiled this first. And then I put it back in. So I'm going to get my handy dandy travel funnel that I have sanitized. And I'm just going to pour this water in. And so this is a one gallon carboy. Don't eat the, don't, don't, don't eat it, Vaughn. You can't suck it. You can really smell this honey too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna take this to right where it says one gallon. Okay, on your on your carboys, it should tell you how um, how many gallons of water it is. Okay, so this one says one gallon, right here, one gallon, one gallon. So Vaughn's gonna shake.
shake this up really diligently. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your car, boy. Shake your car. I gotta make my boy shake it. Shake your car, boy. Shake it. Just shake it. Just shake it. Just shake it. Shake, baby, you're not shaking. Take it upside down. Shake it, shake it, shake it. We need to shake it. That's not, I, I can shake better than that. A four year old can shake better than that. Come on, baby, shake it. Upside down. Shake, shake, shake. He's not really trying. He's not trying to shake, I can see. I'm just doing it for a long time. It's the same thing. It's not the same thing. Try to upside down a little bit. Make sure we incorporate all that hump. So it doesn't set. Here, come on now. Shake it properly. Okay. So now that he's done such an amazing job. All right, so now that that's all incorporated, you see that? So we're gonna take this top off. And it's okay about the bubbles, so we have to rinse this off. And we have to actually sit and be sanitized at this time. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sanitized top, Just make sure we have it near us. And what I did was I um, took my yeast and I rehydrated my yeast. And I, re I rehydrated it for about mm, 25 minutes. Um, did I mix it? No. Um, it's just re rehydrating the yeast just so it'll be in a better environment. Okay? So I'm gonna take this yeast and I'm gonna pour it directly in here, baby. Hold this so they can see. And just so it doesn't spill, I mean, I have a pretty accurate hand, but just so that it doesn't spill, we're gonna take a little funnel. I'm gonna pour our yeast in there. Do not shake it, please. We're gonna let that do what it needs to do. Mm. We, have to, we have to wash and sanitize this. Then we're gonna take our stopper and have the hole in it. You see that? And we're gonna stick this right on top. Oh, shit. see, I make sure that's closed properly. Uh oh. It's closed. Don't get that all in there. It's not closing for some reason. There's some sediment in there. Sanitized hands and such. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna stop that. And where is our fermentator? One more. Oh, here it is. Take this. This is how the CO2 gets out during our fermentation process. What we're going to do is we'll take some water and we'll put it to the line. And if you guys have one of these, you'll know that there's a line sitting right there on there. And what it's going to do is see there are holes in the top? It's going to release that CO2. We're going to keep this in a clean, dry area for about two weeks unless we add more nutrients to it, but we're not going to. So you guys will see us in about two weeks for this one. What's today's date, dearest? 22nd. Is it? 21st, 22nd. So like, can somebody tell me what day it is today, please? What's the day? The date. Is it the 22nd? Is it the 21st? What's, what's the date? Can somebody tell me, please? No? Can I tell me? Thank you. Thank you, Kiki. 822. 23. Put that on our car, boy. We're going to put this in a cool, dark spot. And we're going to let it do what it does. For three weeks. For about two and a half to three weeks. Ain't no 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to let this do what it does. I'm going to put this in a cool, dry spot. I'm putting my pantry for now. Okay. Move, bro. Let me wash my hands. <laughs> so, while we're waiting for that to be ready, so we just fill up our carboy. Oh, you washed the thing already? Yeah. Thank you. So, we're going to put this stuff back. That's trash. This back where it goes. Look at that, baby. Look at you.
you go golfing today? No, I met somebody who was golfing today. You look like you went golfing today. Yeah, no, I didn't. I was just looking at the wire. You know, mm -hmm. on that port. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Did you have some of his port here? Is that why you're so tired? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Babe, you know you can't drink pork. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you something about Bob. Yes, we're going to get the bacon here. That's what the extra piece is for. We, we all know that Bob has to do the thing. You know you can't drink that pork, babe. That's too that's too high ABD for you. How much did you have? A half a glass or something? Get two glasses of pork. <laughs> you know you can't drink <laughs> Leave that to me, okay? <laughs> Vaughn had two glasses of pork, so y'all don't, don't be getting drink. So anyway, we are waiting for these to get a nice little golden color. Um, it's only been about eight minutes so far. So, but once it gets to where I need... How much of the bacon did you eat? No, no, no. I didn't, say, I didn't say how much more of the bacon. I said how much did you eat? I don't understand. Apple? No. <laughs> nah, Y'all see, see what happened to Y'all see what I have to deal with? Hey, apple peace. Peace in heaven. Where's the top for this? Okay, we'll figure it out when we're supposed to clean up. Yeah, so, y'all, I can't I can't even have a conversation with him today. So, <laughs> my poor baby, give me. Thing. Well, can you put some of this stuff in the dishwasher? Can you do that? Can you put this stuff in the dishwasher for the baby? Oh, Lord. Yo, I can't. We can't have a discussion today. <laughs> no, we can't. What kind of discussion are you going to have today? For real? Okay. So, after you put these in the dishwasher, I'm going to take these out of the oven because they'll be in for 10 minutes already. And I'm going to drizzle some baking grease on there because that gives it. An amazing flavor. No, he's not hot. He just had some port wine. Okay, he doesn't. We don't get hot, but we will have a cocktail. Um. So, and don't forget this. Put this in there. I have my I have my thermometer. Um, and I already tested my water. My water was less than 110 when I put it in there. First was first 170 and then 110 because for I didn't want to cook my uh my fruit and I didn't want it to be too hot for. Uh, what we have to do. If you guys want me to do another video when I show you guys step by step how to do a mead, it's really, really, really easy. Um, usually it's just honey, water, and yeast. You can make your own wine. It is very legal in the state of Georgia. You can make up to 100 gallons for personal use per year of beer and wine. I'm not talking about distilled spirits. That is not, that, that's, if that's what y'all want to do, that's one y'all, but it's not legal to do. But we will do, we can do a step by step um, with the meat and we can show you guys how to do wine. You can make your own wine in 30 to 45 days. And um, depending on the yeast that you use, um, it dep depends on your alcohol by volume, but you can um, re-ferment to make it even higher. Uh, the kind of yeast that I use, it will yield only about 17% ABV, uh, which is still a nice, it's a nice amount for a wine. You don't really want to go more than that because you want your drinkability to be really smooth. Uh, you can do up to a 30% ABV on wine, but you'll, you really won't be able to use your yeast for that. Um, and I don't want to get too technical in, the, in this conversation because I can talk about this all night long and nobody will understand what I'm talking about. Um, and my, I, I did not use an andromeda this time, which tests my ABV prior to putting it in um, a cool, dark area. I left a lot of my stuff. I left a lot of my stuff in St. Louis when we uh, we made our our latest distill of water. Mm -hmm. We distilled some water. Mm -hmm. We'll leave that where it is. Um, but uh, if you guys go ahead and comment and let me know if, that, if that's what you guys want, I can go ahead and do a step by step for that. Um, Cause you have, to take, you have to take care of your yeast. So let me go ahead and put this away. Bond is not going to know what to do with it. So, um, oh, and by the way, if you, and, and if you guys wonder what kind of yeast I like, this, this is just a nutrient right here. This is a yeast nutrient. This is what makes your um, yeast very, very, very happy. Am I pregnant? No, girl. No, 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 no. I'm ready for grandbabies. That's my goal. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so anyway, um, 
you use about five grams, five to six grams of regular yeast when you're making your meat. That's about a, a teaspoon, about a teaspoon. If you're using six grams, maybe a teaspoon and a fourth. Um, but you want to make sure you put this away in a, in a nice airtight container and you want to make sure your, um, your, yeast, your yeast nutrient is in the cool, dry area as well. So. So, we are ready to take our steaks out, our cabbage steaks out, just so we can put some baking grease on there. I'm going to um, set this over here, we'll put this over there. Um, too big, boy. Can you get the broom and kind of sweep this cabbage up? I'm sorry, I'm in a mess. And I'm going to tell you something. I hate that trash day it was yesterday. No, no, that's right. No touching the fervor tree. No fervor trees for me. No, no, no. We're done. We're too old for that. Okay. So as you can see, and remember I told you guys that cabbage had a high water content. You see that? You see all that liquid? And so when you put, especially when you put salt on something um, with a high water content, it takes the, it takes the water out. So you want to be really, 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 really,
I can just take this off and then just throw this whole thing away. So that's well, that's an easy kitchen tip, you know, from from the girl tree tree. I told y'all, I already told y'all I was having a heart off, 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 off day, so don't don't go um, judging me today. Somebody said, "What's up, Vaughn?" What's up? So anyway, Vaughn, where's the broom? He already swept. He already swept. It's all right. I did my job. I'm smooth with it. Oh, can you put this back up at the top? You know I can't reach it. Uh, 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 uh. Can I reach? Only he can reach it. This is why he does stuff like that. This is why I ask him. You know what? Uh, Adam, don't tell us to get a room. Adam, tell him get a room. I am having hot flashes, y'all. Y'all have no idea. This has been a hot flash day for me today. I've been trying to keep it together. It is just not coming together. I think I need some, some more pellets or something. I get, I get testosterone pellets, y'all. Because it keeps me um level. I, I knew what I was going to say. It keeps me level. Like, it's like I always know when I need to re-up on them. Because I just can't seem to get my body. Like, I just don't feel right like inside my body. And... It's hard to explain, but it's like, it's just, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> that's the only way I can explain it. But a woman who knows what I'm going through, knows what I'm going through. It's just like, oh my, my, ugh, my body. It's true. Okay, for a woman who goes through hot flashes, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, you know. It is awful. You just feel like that. Yeah. <laughs> but that's how you feel. Yeah. It's like, you, you feel like you're doing a chicken dance. Oh, you ever seen the chicken dance? Yeah. That, <laughs> that's how you feel. Yeah. <laughs> and like, there's not enough fans, there's not enough not so air. I, I promise if I could take this hat off, I would because I got a stocking cap on underneath this hat. On top of everything else in the kitchen, I can't deal with this. I almost cursed. How does it make you feel again? Be quiet, be quiet. No, tell me again. It's like that. You can't get together. You can't even get together. Uh, that's uh, not brutal. It is. It's called can't get together. So, you know, I need my phone. I need a fan. On top. Yes, on top of the fan. We got, y'all, no, listen. We have three fans going. We have we have the kitchen fan going. I have this. Oh, it's not even. It's, I don't, yeah, it is on. Oh my gosh! Then the air, and now it's. It's never here. Oh, so you're standing there, so you can feel it. That is so selfish. You don't have hot flashes. I did. Mm -hmm. That's why I can't. Oh God, I can't Jesus, I'm hot just for the sake of being hot. Mm -hmm. That's what, see, that's why, that's why I can't go to hell. That's why I came down and go to hell because this hell is supposed to be hot. You said you're going to make it, honey. I'm not going to be able to make it. I'm so I got to keep my life right for God. I ain't going to be able to do it. I can't. I can't do it. Uh, oh my God, the devil ain't just got to do that shit by themselves. I can't do that shit. I mean, stuff. Excuse me for cursing. Yeah. Oh gosh, I can't. I'm so hot. I, I want to lay on the floor. Okay. <laughs> and this doesn't help. But it keeps me cool at the moment. Yeah, and that's how business makes me hot again. I understand. That's why I just said it makes it worse. But I can't help it because it's cool at the time. It's cool at the time. It's cool in the game at the time. Now we wash my hands now. This is Okay. Nobody gets it except for whoever gets it. Do you, do you remember how badly he laughed at me when we did the Krispy Kremes <laughs> and, and the cook? It's horrible. It's horrible. It's, it's the worst. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you. We haven't been on the boat all season long. It's just too, it's too hot outside. It's 100 something degrees. And even going through the breeze of the boat is like too much. It's too much. It's too much. Luke Van said never too much he lied. 
Just like I put that out there. Look. Nothing too much about my mind. What is that boom for? Because that just adds some stank on it. Look. <laughs> boom, boom, adds a stank on it. <laughs> boom. <laughs> that was stupid. It meant nothing. Maybe it's going to clean up so we got to clean up when we finish. I did. Baby, if I'm still putting stuff away, how did you clean up? Because I didn't know that was a prerequisite. Cleaning up, you didn't know cleaning up was a prerequisite. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, my Facebook. 
So my, my fan page for my Facebook and my bar chicks for my Facebook got hacked. I'm not coming out with more music unless I do it with Darius Rucker. And, I, and, and I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I wish I knew how to find out who it was, but I, I, my people are working on it, my team. Um, and I hope they find out who it is because I will press charges. Unless they're in some other country, which they more than likely are. Um, I'm not sure about that. that whole, and, I was, and I was thinking about deleting my Facebook, but Vaughn was like, no, don't delete your Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and because, like, um, because people already stole my name as it is. And I'm like, well, what do, you, what do you do? They've already stolen my name. They stole my Facebook. It's like, Tawamas was hacked. Um, Fred Hammonds was, packed, was, was hacked. Uh, I mean, it's like this whole movement going on. And I'm not... I'm not sure how they do it. And, and, then, and then, of course, they did it to monetize your page and then get money from being on your page. I haven't got any money from my page. But, you know, that's that. So we have uh, two more minutes and seven seconds before this is supposed to be done. I don't feel like it'll be done because I like a little crispiness, like around a little bit of um, candiness almost. So we'll see what happens and if we need to do it any longer. But everybody has to do things according to their own tastes and according to how they want to um, season. That was my foot. I did not put I can't, I can't replicate it, but it was my foot. Mm -hmm. It was my foot, little thing. So, um, hi, I was in Atlanta. I was wishing for, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. We will open again soon. Um, mommy's doing amazingly. Uh, let's see, what else? Yeah, uh, Uncle and I, Tom and I had a great time last night with Ryan Cameron and Vaughn, TF Atlanta. Um, it was a, turn, a golf tournament for charity. Um, oh, hey, the hell, Katrina. I like Katrina, too. So, uh, Ryan, Ryan Cameron does this. Um, he's done it about every other year. So, um, that's not like amazing. The food was great. The mm -hmm. time was great. The DJ was great. The live mm -hmm. music was great. It's a good time. Did I get the air fix in the kitchen? Did we get the air fix in the kitchen? No. <laughs> Probably another reason why I'm so hot. It's about to cool down though, so the compressor will be a lot cheaper when it when it gets cold. <laughs> so instead of like a thousand dollars, it'll be like four hundred dollars. Six thousand dollars. Six thousand dollars. Six thousand dollars. I'm gonna do four thousand and six thousand. Oh my gosh, my pants out of it. Six thousand dollars. I wish I could do $6,000. I could do a lot of $6,000. Anyway, y'all know I'm, I'm very frugal. I'm, I'm not going there. Nah. Mm -mm -mm. Tony's amazing. Thank you for asking. Uh, Tony's working on some things, so make sure you guys continue to follow her. Um, well, let, me check, let, me, let, me, let me check on these. Um, I don't want to call them sticks. I just want to call it roasted cabbage. Because to me, they're not cabbage yeah, sticks. Roasted, roast, roast. Look, my mix on that. <laughs> they must be in the, in the laundry room. Yes, there's a lot of water. There's a lot of water in here. See that? A lot of water. I told you, cabbage retains a lot of water. So I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit, just so we can get some um, caramelization out of them. Put it on 425. Evaporate a little bit of this water. Might put on water. Give her some of this water. Then that way we can. I mean, at the end of it, it's still roasted cabbage. I mean, I, I don't know if that whole cabbage steak thing should be a thing. We have to see how it Yeah, but you know when when you when you put salt on something that's roasted, oh, you alright? <laughs> <laughs> Already 
retains a lot of water, the water uh, is going to come out of it. Why? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I can't even buy it. Uh, next time, uh, next time, you can't get on the muscle that you sleep. <laughs> no more, no more on today. Go, go, go to bed. I'll bring, I'll bring your plate. You're okay. <laughs> Cause you wait, wait, cause you can't eat those king crab legs in the room. Oh, yeah. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. Oh gosh, that's hilarious. What the surprise that you didn't say roasted potato times? <laughs> A good one. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Wait, yeah, what's the last? What? <laughs> what? Don't put your man to sleep. <laughs> I will let her. Just not right now. <laughs> what else am I having? Um, so we're having king crab legs. I'm having um, snow crab legs. I don't eat king crab legs. Um, with some uh, eggs, boiled eggs, some corn, potatoes, and then our cabbage. So that's what we're having. So it's pretty amazing. Mm, 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 mm. So I just have to wait. I just have to let this come. Kind of Dry out a little bit, I guess that's the right term to use. I, these people that are on television, and I watched, I, I watched like 18 different YouTube videos this girl in Connie's, Connie's Kitchen. Hey, Connie's Kitchen. And I thought that hers looked the best, actually, and it didn't retain all that water. I was trying to find out what they did in between editing because there's no way, there's no way. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, there's no way under God's green earth that it did not have that water. They had to have used a base to, or something to remove some of that water from there because it's it's, it's not possible. Cabbage is full of water. I don't like you right now. <laughs> so that's that. And I'm trying to wait, y'all. I'm trying to wait. I, I thought we wouldn't have a topic tonight. We don't have any, we don't have a topic tonight, y'all, because Vaughn's topic was so it's like coming up. Do it on purpose. So put it on me. I I can put it on me. Look, look right there. Yeah. They can't see you. They can't even see you. They can see you. They can't see you. Yes, it is one of those nights. <laughs> I told y'all from the very beginning, it's just one of those nights. So we've got to deal with it. So that's just it. When we're done, we're just done. I'm going to turn it off as quickly as possible. <laughs> and that's just it. <laughs> you just want to eat your crabs, eat your cabbage. They're not cabbage cakes. <laughs> Y'all see, I can't win today. Yes, he's going to exactly, eat and he's going to go to sleep. And I'm going to watch one of my movies when I him because he's going to be asleep. One of my little cartoons or one of my little romantic comedies that he won't watch along with me. So, that's that. No, I don't have any, prob no, I don't have any projects right now. Right. Quote, unquote. So, okay. No, see, don't take what he says and run with it. Don't take what Bond says when they were cabbage cakes. <laughs> but anyway, but see, but when I, but when I make these, how do you store that? How do I stare it? Sir, I'm not just store it in the refrigerator. Uh -huh. Well, I'm not gonna let it go for, for so long. But the, the most is gonna be two days. I can use these as uh, cabbage wraps with some rice and some other stuff in it. Just all kinds of stuff. I can, all kinds of. But or I can just make some fried cabbage and then freeze it or something like that. But we're not gonna let it go to waste because we don't we don't waste food. We're not doing that. Not doing that. What you say about Jameson? Somebody says something about Jameson. Follow you, please. Follow. Me. Gotcha. So, um, hey, love from Maryland. Where would we like to go to vacation? I would like to go to Bali or Bora Bora. Hmm. Yeah, if it, those are the two places I have never been. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Africa's amazing. Africa's beautiful. I would definitely go back. I would go back to Italy. I would go back to Italy. I would go back to Italy. I never had a bad experience anywhere that I've been, except for Germany. Germany wasn't a good experience. When we were in Germany, we were there, we were shopping, and they were trying to look cute. They were following us. We were what? And it was, this was a long time ago, too. This was up in the 90s. And they're following us, and, you know, they didn't accuse us of stealing, but they dag on there did. And so when they found it and they figured out that we were, you know, guests of the country, oh, no, 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 you can have whatever you want. No, we want your stuff. Thank you. I want anything free from you. I understand, but no thank you. Mm -mm. No thanks. I want none of your free. Thanks, but no thanks. You did hear crab legs. My favorite thing, you know what my favorite thing about reality television is? Someone said, look, what's my favorite thing about reality television? My favorite thing about reality television, especially now today, is that we got to document my sisters and I in our relationship, especially now that my sister Tracy is gone. We have over 10 years of documentation of our life with her. Good, bad, and different funny, sad, all of it, and we'll have that forever. So, that's my favorite thing about reality. Cane crab, yeah, we gotta take my, they didn't say king, they said cane. Yeah, we got some cane crab for my king. <laughs> they can't see you right here, baby. That's not, that's not, no! <laughs> Did you just do a worse wall then? <laughs> he just played you one of these little, that's not gonna work. Not gonna work. So that was my favorite thing about reality television. Just for me. For me personally. So if you can turn this YouTube off, we can we'll take a picture and post it later. Or you want to just have it on over there. Okay. I'm just waiting. We have just a few more minutes. I can't wait because I'm so I'm so hungry, y'all. I'm so hungry. I have, would I do it again? Hey, Auntie Jackie Clark! Would I do it again? Under the right circumstances, I would do it again. It would have to be right. It would have to be right. I would love to come to Nambia. I would love to come to Nambia. I loved your show because it was real. Yeah, 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 it was. And, and the, only, the only thing that I would do differently, the only thing that I wish is that I have my sister back. That's it. Period. I can't, so. Anyway, that's like the mood, shall we? Err. Somebody called you Big Diddy. Hello, guys. Let's see how the oven is doing. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. How to, uh, Bond hates this outfit. Bond oh, hates this outfit. Oh, I mean, it seems almost done. I think we need like five, yeah, so four, yeah, four minutes and 38 seconds. We have like five more minutes on y'all. And I'm impatient. I'll be honest. I, that is, my Facebook is hacked. I just said it. It's hacked. And I don't know what to do about it. I mean, my, my team is working on it. If worse comes to worse, you have to delete it and I'm going to start a new one. And I'll let you guys know what it is when I start it. But no, it's not me. It's very frustrating. Listen, I got this from Ross. It's a whole little long thing. Look, I got it from Ross. It's got sparklies on it, and it was seven dollars. So I mean, it was perfect for me. I mean, look, seven dollars. So it's comfortable. I'm bringing it around my house. I don't have to worry about it. all that other stuff. I'm comfortable. I just can't wear it in front of other people because like, the sides are out. But because I have on my apron, cause I ripped it. 
I ripped it on the sides. So, it's just, it's just very comfy and it's thin. And my hot flashes aren't as bad with it. So, y'all, it's like three more minutes, y'all. Jeez, y'all know y'all know I'm impatient. Y'all know I'm impatient, and I'm trying. Mm, 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 it's just a mixture. It's just a, a, a mecca of conversation, I guess. I don't know. Dialect. Jig. That is very, very Baltimore. Jig. Chin. Is Eric. No, Eric's wife isn't pregnant yet. I'm just waiting. Can't wait. Cannot wait. I want to be a grandmother so badly. But. Doesn't look like they're trying to get them to me anytime soon. They really want it. So. Who's the country? What country? What part of Maryland are you from in the country? What county do you live in? Yes, a melting pot of accents. Be more careful. No, I'm not being more careful. Ha <laughs> ha! That's cute. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I should I should take the rest of the food. That might be good. I'm gonna take his. Then we can have his other oh. stuff on the side. Oh. So I'm gonna plate it. Big girl, big girl, my chair though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start off by giving him two king crab legs. Some corn, got some patata, mm -hmm. and an egg. Let me serve him this, and then I'll give him his cabbage mm. when it's done. Is it warm? Do you want to make it more warm? It was in the oven. I can't fit it in there right now. Right. I mean, I can nuke it for about two seconds. Fine. It doesn't taste the same when you nuke it. But I'll give it 15 seconds. Food in the microwave after it's been in the oven. Oh, that's why I can't stand when you eat my food right away. I can't take it. That drives me bad. I'm gonna tell you what drives me bad. When I make a meal and they don't eat it, you and they gotta put it in the microwave. You didn't give it to me. And they say, Trina, does it make you mad? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Just thought I'd put that out there. But. This for now, we've given his napkins. Yes, I will get you your four. Thanks. All right, so this means that these are supposed to be done. Okay, they dry out a little bit, they smell very cabbagey. Alright, so we're going to take these out. They actually look really yummy. So he'll be able to have these with his other plating. First, so it's going to taste like, and it's straight out of the oven, guys. So just remember that. Take a little bit of bacon. Mmm. Put that on the top. 
top, and you can crumble it with whatever you want. You can put cheese on there. I've seen that happen. Um, I I never thought about putting cheese on the day on cabbage before, so I decided not to do that. It's supposed to be a steak. Okay, with a knife and a fork. Bacon on there. Here we go. Get a little bacon. Week. I thank y'all for coming. I appreciate your time. Thank you for spending this time with us today. Weird day. Weird day. Weird day. So, why not? I'm going to go and eat our crabs and have gas together and watch a movie. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Talk to you soon.